Hey guys, what's up? I just got off work and I'm about to get started here on the Raptor. Uh, the Statter just came in yesterday. Got it sitting right here. Came in late last night and I didn't have time to do any work on it. So today I'm going to throw it in. This is the OEM. Here's the aftermarket. See connectors. Look exactly the same. So it seems like it's a decent quality. The only thing is all these wires aren't coated like on this one. We got our little pickup here, crankshaft sensor. Should be pretty cool. So I'm not going to film me putting this thing in because you guys are probably tired of seeing me put this thing in and out. I probably put it in uh, two different times. So this will be the third time doing it. So I'm just going to put it in there and we'll cut to the chase and see if this thing starts. So I found something really cool, guys. When I put this thing back in our side cover, I noticed this grommet is way too fucking big for this. If you look at them here side by side, this grommet is way too big. It's too deep and it's, it's too thick. And I really don't feel like sending this thing back. And I'm really irritated right now. You think I would have learned my lesson by now not to buy cheap electronic ATV parts. So I'm gonna take this little Dremel tool and I'm just going to shave this area out until it fits because I really just don't have time to be sending this thing back. And I swear to God, this better be it. I don't know, though. I tested this one, and it doesn't have that much different of a reading than the OEM one. I, I'm just – I don't even know, man. I'm throwing it back in there. Let's see if I can make it fit, and we'll see what happens. Seriously, just so – irritated with this quad all right so i was really pissed but i've been working it with this dremel here and you can see the bottom one is the one that i did you see it's thinner on the inside see it's a little bit narrower and if you look at the front i made it shallow too so i'm gonna do that to the top one and i think i should be able to make this fit So there it is. You can see how much smaller it is on that inner portion, on these top lips. See all that rubber came off. So let's see if it fits in there. All right, so I got our grommet in here, but now this crankshaft position sensor doesn't fit it has like these little shelves on the bottom so you can't adjust it it has to fit in there just right well you can see it'll fit in one side it doesn't fit in the other side put the other one in so that one's locked in now this one won't fit it's too damn wide I do not recommend even if this even if this thing works, I do not recommend buying this. I'll show the link right here. Sorry guys, but the shipping took way too long and the fit and finish of this kind of sucks. So I'm gonna shave the edges off of this just slightly, the two outer edges and, and just a little bit on the inside so the bolts fit. So it'll be just right even in the middle and we'll bolt it in. You know, I'll be able to put this thing on here, but 90% of people that are putting this shit in aren't going to be able to, you know, modify these parts so they'll fit. And not to mention, nobody feels like doing this shit anyway because it takes forever. You don't know if it's going to fit right. You don't know if it's adjusted right. It's just a pain in the ass. I love Project Raptor. So here we are again, back with the Dremel. I'm going to use this bit right here, just a little grinding wheel. And I would take this wire harness out of the engine case but I already put some uh, gasket sealant in the grommet so I just covered up everything there and this should be fine so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this little retaining shelf off just the top outside edge I'm gonna do that on both sides 
And then I'm going to take a thinner uh, Dremel and I'm going to just bring this edge down just a little bit so that it'll fit in there nice and hopefully it'll be lined up properly and this thing will start. Right now I'm kind of losing patience and really willing to try anything to get this thing back together and running. Pretty cool how the metal shavings got stuck to this thing because of the magnetization. This is turning into Project Chop Shop. So I'm going to do it to the other side as well and we'll see if we can get it to fit right and bolt this thing up. Okay, so it's all on there. It's nice and tight. I managed to make it fit. And, you know, hopefully that'll work. I think it will. I don't think there's going to be an issue with that. Um, all this other stuff fit real nice. Our grommet fit in there nice after I shaved it down. I already put some RTV in there. So I'm going to throw some, some quick... Uh, shot a gasket tack on and my gasket and I will throw this cover on put some oil in it and we'll see what happens I think this might be the worst display of mechanical ability ever, if, if not at least for me. I literally forgot to put the drain plug back in and I spilt oil all over the floor. I really don't think this thing's going to start. <laughs> because I tested the statter before I put it back together. And it's not reading much different than the other one was, but you know, what the f Alright guys, so it is the next day. I had to leave this thing on charge overnight because the battery was just that dead. So let's give it a spin. This is unbelievable. I seriously cannot believe that this is happening right now. This thing started and I am just so goddamn happy right now. <laughs> I can't even express how happy I am right now. I'm going to throw the original CDI on there and uh, plug that HMF optimizer in and see if that CDI is okay because then I can take back the, uh, the aftermarket computer that I bought or sell the OEM one, whatever. Uh, I just want to see if that works. But I'm going to take this, side, uh, this outside right now, let it idle for a little bit, give it a couple revs, and that's going to cap it because it's going to be time to put the graphics on this bad boy and ride the shit out of it because the amount of work that I put into this thing and time and effort, it's like more than the Banshee. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, seriously. So I am stoked for this. Let's throw those computers on the uh, original computer on there and see if it fires up too. There it goes. What else, right? It's okay though. It was, I was probably been idling for over five minutes, so definitely uh, a step in the right direction. It might even be out of gas because I just had a shot in there, um, really to get it going. So maybe that's why it shut off. <laughs> kind of scaring me. <laughs> but yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. I apologize again for the lack of um, content. That I've been putting up. It is all because of work. I've just been working a lot. I'm not blaming work. I'm very happy with my job and everything. But, you know, I've been doing that and then I've been coming home and working on stuff and I've been working on the Firebird too. Just a lot of stuff going on. It's really tough to continue to make videos as frequently as I was, but I'm going to keep making them for you guys. Uh, hopefully, I will find a way to get up more content for you more frequently. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. It is indeed low on gas, guys. I don't know if you can see in there. That is the bottom of the tank. So that's why it's stalled out. Thank God.